All right, so uh, first day getting out in the woods trying to get my maple sap lines taken care of over the, uh, over the course of the um, summer. Uh, a bunch of branches have fallen down on them, so they're all uh, kind of messed up. I gotta get a chainsaw back up in here, cut any branches that are down over the lines, and uh, get all the lines pulled straight and tight so that the sap all flows downhill to my collection barrel. So that's the plan today. And uh, got a beautiful day, 23 degrees, a little bit of snow. So yeah, let's get to it. Of the sun, he just sits up on a cloud and beats a drum. The snow falls till you think it's almost done. All right, so I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but this is what we fight every year. Squirrels get in here and chew up the lines. And if they uh, chew it enough, it'll cause a leak. So sometimes we gotta get in here and put a splice in. This is a popular spot for squirrels. I had to splice this last year, but uh, these don't feel too bad. I think we'll be all right. We'll just keep an eye on it once the season starts flowing. So, at the end, come on, bring it here, drop it. Oh yeah, maybe back this up a little bit. All right, so at the end of my runs, I have this, I think it's a 3 8 inch yellow hollow core braided rope that I thread the tubing through makes kind of like a finger cuff, Chinese finger cuff thing. And then tighten them up. All you need to do is pull the tubing and slide the rope. It does a really good job of tightening them up. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go back through and redo this because as you can see, this is sloping down. This is my highest point. This needs to be way up here, so I gotta go through and drop everything else down. As I, I gotta be able to reach the uh, reach the taps. I have a uh, a sight level for these lines, but I left it at home. So got uh, a level app on my phone.
boy. It's not good enough. Gotta go higher. you're looking for is three percent minimum slope that's at three everything else down the hill is fine well, that's just gonna be a hard one to tap okay so got some new rope newer rope hasn't been stretched out and if you're doing this method to attach your tubing to the trees it really is a good method it's cheap it's easy you can tighten the lines throughout the season as the uh, as the weather gets warmer they tend to sag a little bit so you can go back through and tighten them real easy um, but if you do this what you want to do this one was I made it too short I had I only had this much line sticking out. You want to have like this much of your tubing go through the, uh, through the line. I only had about this much, so I think it loosened up when it got real cold. So I'm gonna fix that. Helps if you uh, kind of accordion the rope together kind of opens it up a bit. And the hard part is just getting it started. You don't want to start it all the way at the end because it'll fray, it'll fray and it'll come undone. So you give it a four inches or so and then you start the hole where you're going to put your tubing. And again, they make a tool for it and it's literally 300 yards away in my garage. It would make this go so much easier, but there we go. Oh, it's frozen. And once you get enough on there, you just kind of pop it through, make another hole and pop it through. each of them have between 10 and 20 taps on each line. 